Thank you so much for coming here, Chris John. Your voice is always so impressive. Like Thank your you. high notes and your chest voice is like really amazing to see Thank live. You. Thank you. So thank you for joining <laughs> us. And um, yeah, so we, we've known each other for a long time and you used to do musical theater. Like we did yep, musical yep, theater yep, together. Yep, yep. That's why this interview is quite weird. <laughs> yeah. I know you used to be in a band and now you're doing solo. You do so many creative things. So what would you say is your favorite creative things to do so far? Well, um, I guess I would say music because uh, music is uh, the thing that I know the, the most, naturally. Uh, I was born in a musical house and my dad is uh, already doing music since forever. So um, it's only natural that I do music and all the creative things that I do uh, is mostly about songwriting lyrics writing and music yeah i want to ask you because one of your song um i feel like as an artist myself really hits home and it's important to a lot of artists your song called song for a penny yeah could you Absolutely. share a bit about the inspiration behind that and what made you write that song ah, great question uh i actually it's called song for a penny for many many reasons because um it was the song that i wrote after uh I quit the industry. While I was in the industry, I had so many questions and so many uh, doubts, to be honest. And I had to uh, f find the meaning of what music is in society, uh, how we're supposed to uh, use music. And I had to, uh, I had to, how to say, I had to relearn everything again. Um, and, um, and it's mostly by uh, losing myself. So I, I, I used to, I lost myself once, artistically, and, um, and this song came out. The, basically, uh, I'm questioning about, you know, music and uh, its purpose in society. And um, yeah, as simple as that. Song for Penny. Yeah, and I really like that all of your songs seem to have a meaningful lesson. And yeah. I'm curious, how did you come up with those concepts that you want to write about? Good question again. Uh, I think it's, it's just, uh, I think music should be natural. You should it only reflect what you feel inside. These are songs that I wrote maybe four or five years ago. So there are songs that uh, reflect how I was feeling at that time. If, if you ask me to write the song today, it will be a happy one. <laughs> That's good to know. You're happy now. <laughs> so it's only, you know, it's, I think music should only reflect what you mean and what you are and who you are. Yeah. If you, if you start doing music that's not yourself, I think there's a big chance you're going to lose yourself. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And mm. I'm glad that you are now able to express yourself as Absolutely. who you really are Absolutely. instead Thank of maybe God or whoever. Yeah, yeah. writing what the label wants or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I won't press on that. <laughs> no. um, yeah, so for you, uh, what do you have plans next? Because you said you have a music video coming out next, next month. So what's after that? Uh, I don't look much further than just be myself and play music and grow with this new, uh, with my friends and the band and and find more shows and just and write more songs and just live in the present more than anything um you know i i i've been through ups and downs a lot so now i'm myself i'm not gonna go up and down no more i'm gonna be stable and be myself and do what we love to do music and just keep on doing and i don't know what's gonna happen next year but hopefully i'm we're gonna have more shows and more uh, more songs out there and maybe feature a song with you and go do concerts there and there and shoot a movie or whatever. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All of those would be really awesome to try. And yeah, sure. I'm sure you'd be great in them. So last question, how would people find you on social ah, media, your channels? <laughs> Best question share. ever. <laughs> it's the same for her. <laughs> Yes, uh, you can definitely go to all your music streaming apps, whether Spotify, iTunes, whatever you use, go to Chris John, J-O-N, right? And click follow. This is uh, one of the best ways to support your local independent artists. 
because um, unfortunately numbers are very important these days. So, uh, so all the music streaming apps go and support YouTube, socials like Facebook, IG, very important. Go to hers as well, Tam Lin. Yes, go to hers as well. So I'm a big, I'm a big, huge fan. Like huge Thank fan. Thank you so much. Not because you're my friend only. Yeah. Big fan of you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so go to all these and um, yeah, it will be great. Thank you. Yeah, go check out more songs from Pickers and see you in the next video with more amazing artists.